Hi, it's Michael Landau here, and this is the Hot Rod DeVille inspired by AMP. It started with the, uh, with the custom shop several years ago, two, three years ago, when we started to make these signature guitars. That was the first relationship with Fender, and uh, since then we've, you know, we had talked about doing an AMP, and, and they've been making me several prototypes. And this, le this last one that they did, it's, I think it's the fourth or the fifth prototype, is, is great. It's the one. I mean, I kind of knew what I wanted. You know, the whole idea by, they're called inspired by amps. And it's, um, it simply means that you take an existing product that they have, an existing amp, and you make upgrades and changes that I normally would, you know, and I would mod. Change the speakers mainly. This amp is actually a simplified version of the, the current Hot Rod DeVille. It's actually a single channel amp. But it has two volumes that you can switch between, uh, volume one and volume two. And there's no master volume on it. So it's, it's just kind of like a, a great platform for pedals and just a real solid 212 amp. I've never been a fan of master volumes. They, they always sound kind of artificial to me. And also channel switching amps, uh, they never really work for me because uh, like in, in a Hot Rod DeVille, the original, when you share an EQ section for the clean and the overdrive, there's never one like EQ setting that you could get that worked for both the clean and the, uh, and the, and the dirty side. It was always a bit of a compromise. So this way, by having just two volumes that you can switch between, you get a much, much more natural transition from clean to overdrive. It's uh, just a smoother, it sounds like one amp. When I first started using these, I was renting them uh, on tour, and I'd never played f through one, and I just used the clean channel with pedals, and it just, it was great. I, I mean, this, uh, these amps handle pedals better, you know, as good as any amp I've played through, so. But one of the upgrades that Stan Cody did, who was designing this new one, he, um, he modified the power section to give it a little bit more headroom, even than the original, which makes it kind of even more solid with pedals than, than the original guy. One of the upgrades. We went back and forth, and Stan had some great ideas about the boost. It's kind of voiced for the treble pickup, which, uh, it makes it very round sounding. It's a... That's kind of voiced for a, for a Strat or a Tele, the back pickup. And that was kind of Stan's doing, because I, I normally would just use the two volumes, you know. The speakers are Celestian V-types, and they're great for this size cabinet. We tried several, we tried two or three different ones. We even tried the, you know, the super expensive, the Heritage G1265s, which are kind of expensive. And I, I normally like those speakers a lot, but we ended up with these V-types in this. They just seem to fit the cabinet, the sound of the cabinet better. I'm new to those speakers, but I, I love them. They're, the thing I love most about the V-types is the high register uh, notes stay very big and round sounding and, you know, super fat, kind of creamy up there. They don't fizz out. They work great live because you can, uh, you can play quietly, like with James Taylor, I play very quietly with him on stage. It, it can get loud enough if you need to, you know, and, and if you use pedals with it, you can use the overdrive from the pedals, so um, they work great live. They're reliable, they sound great, and they're small, you know, you can throw them in your back seat, but they're hell raisers. Uh, having a Fender uh, signature guitar and a signature amp, I mean, it means the world to me. So it's, I've been playing Fender since I was 14 years old. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a great honor. <laughs>